Within the lifeless empty, there was a world of life. And on that world, three worlds were one. And of the worlds, the heavens was the most powerful. A world where celestial beings of pure light reigned over chosen souls, praising their mysterious creator for eternities as he slept, casting their judgment and enforcing their creator's will on other worlds. Until one day... This place is so boring! Eternal bliss? Fueled by a thousand souls that knew no better. Everlasting beauty? Fabricated. Unending peace. Upheld by condemning all who display excess of emotion. The blinding vanity of the shameless monument made manifest in praise to a creator that's been asleep for a billion years. It's palpable. Welcome human souls to the tenth circle of hell. A true testament to self-importance. Blind faith made manifest. Would be a shame if somebody fucked it up. Ah, hell. The world of eternal damnation, where all dissenters are inevitably banished. Humans for their misdeeds, condemned by the angels to an eternity of suffering. And fallen angels, or demons, as punishment for our rebellion, condemned to an eternity of inhabiting this desolate wasteland. But no longer. I, Infernal Beelzebub, Anacrea Cruel the Apocalypse, the opposite of divine, prince of all suffering and torment, master of all sin, conqueror of the underworld, and king of demonkind, shall suffer this pointlessness no longer. Follow me, my fallen brothers and sisters, and we shall lay claim to this bottomless pit and make for ourselves an empire to rival that of the very heavens themselves! And little by little, the fallen angels conquered every circle of hell. Infernal Beelzebub's power grew with every conquest, and more and more demons flocked to his cause. And when his army came to the circle of Limbo, he was met with an impenetrable fortress built to withstand the blights of hell. A hundred times did he throw his army at its gates and a hundred times were they repelled. In search of the power to complete his conquest, he scoured every corner of all the nine circles until he came upon a prophecy. A ruler who fell from the tallest heavens, its power sealed by the Seraphim, and for eternal age it shall be, for it at least would bring calamity. Well, that's clearly a reference to yours truly. A ruler who fell from the tallest heavens. That's me. Yes, my prince, clearly. I knew I felt weaker after falling. I shall reclaim my lost power and conquer Limbo with ease. And as the Prince of Demons descended into the Forgotten Lair, his eyes did fall upon a blinding reminder of his past. This is the power of Seraphim. Countless demons doubtlessly fail to break it. But I am no mere demon. Now, I shall reclaim the power they stole from me and achieve my true potential. <sighs> ah! <gasps> Finally, some fresh air! Uh, what? Who are you? Uh, oh! To you. I don't... I don't want your gratitude. I demand my power. Is it stored inside of you? Your power? 
I am Infernal Beelzebub, an archaea cruel de apocalypse, the opposite of divine, prince of suffering and torment, master of all sin, conqueror of the underworld, king of all demon kind, and I demand my power be returned to me! <laughs> I'm sorry, is something the matter? <laughs> You dare laugh at me? That's a nice name. I think I'm just going to call you Booby. That's easier. If you will not give me my power back, I'll take it from you. Ooh, awesome powers, Booby. How can you still stand? Uh, Booby? Are you okay? I need not your empathy. I will strike you down. Aww, you're so cute. What? Why am I in the body of a lesser demon? I guess I absorbed all your powers, huh? I feel great. No, I was meant to regain my powers. So, this is hell, right? Let's go check it out, Booby. Let go of me, you wretch. The nameless angel who stole my powers quickly became the Demon Queen. All followed her happily as she led them to the final fortress at the edge of the underworld, Limbo. So, Booby, this is the place that gave you trouble, right? If I couldn't conquer it, you certainly cannot. Hey, do you want to bring me some snacks for when I'm done? I'm not your butler. <laughs> You're not? Then why do you always make me food? Shut up! You keep eating unhealthy snacks every day, and I need to keep my power from disappearing before I can get them back. <laughs> okay, Booby. And stop calling me that. It's Infernal Beelzebub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go take out that limo place now, okay? Impossible. Mr. Einstein, you promise the wars will hold? Yes, Socrates. They should hold if my calculations are correct, which they always are. In this amulet, you say it's imbued with tortured souls. Yes, sir! Imported in seeker from the fourth circle! What a terrible day to visit. A ruler who fell from the tallest heavens, its powers sealed by seraphim. And for eternal age it shall be, for it unleashed would bring calamity. It was you. Raise your hands, human! Y yes of course Where is she? Could she be gone? <laughs> there you are, Booby. Are you okay? I mean... Not that I care or anything, but you are holding my power, so obviously I have to care. <sighs> Thank you for releasing me from the hell box, Booby. <laughs> Being outside feels so nice. Just... just don't unleash that much power again, please. And from that day, I, Infernal Beelzebub, an Archaea cruel de Booby, I guess, stood by her side until the day I could regain my power, at least. I created bells that would keep in her power, so as to not overexert her. I cooked her dinner. I cleaned her throne room. I performed her duties as she watched strange animations from inside a box made by humans. Are you playing those human video games again? What else is there to do? You could try ruling hell, which I painstakingly united under the banner that you snatched away from me. Hell rules itself, silly. I'm happy just doing what I'm doing. You said you were happy being free from the box, right? You should tour our world, get to know it better. Uh, I've been everywhere. And to be honest, hell is just a larger box. There's no true freedom here. We were banished here for that very sentiment. No true freedom. Freedom is what we make of it. I miss heaven too, but this place is all we have. Heaven was no better. That's why I decided to burn it all down. What? You? 
You were the cause of all of it? The rebellion? A thousand angels thrust from the heavens to the pits of hell? Yeah. I tried to free us, but I just trapped us inside an equally boring place. So that's why you were sealed away. Um, does... does that make you hate me, Booby? I don't know how to answer that. Here, I'll return your powers. What? I'm... I'm back to normal. You want to rule hell, right? It's yours, Booby. I'm really sorry for taking it from you. I'll be leaving. Where are you going? If neither heaven nor hell can make me happy, maybe Earth can. It's a world of nature and science, of chaos that burns so bright that even a crazy tentacle monster from outer space can't help but visit. A portal to Earth? But that power was taken away from us. I've even made a few friends there already. Can you believe it? We shouldn't be rash in making these decisions. I'm sorry. This world isn't for me. So, I'll go now. Goodbye, Booby. Thank you again. You're awesome. Never miss you, you wretch! There's no one here. Oh shit. Do I actually miss her? <sighs> you think you can just have the human world all to yourself? You little. Not a chance. Within the lifeless empty, there lied a shining jewel. And on that shining jewel, Three worlds were one, and of the worlds, by far the most fun one, was the Earth itself. <laughs>